A bank. They're changing the leader. 100. Timmy, that was a lot of jumping jacks. Maybe jumping jacks. Maybe we should all drink water. No, there's no time for that. We're going to rob a bank. They're changing the leader. No leader. No way. I'm the new leader. Everyone, let's touch the top of the locker. Kayla, no, you know I'm too short to get the top of the locker. Exactly, Timmy. You're the reason Eugene's dead. He was the love of my life. Now this is what you get. Everyone, we can all put our arms down now. Now who am I going to get revenge on next? I know you're hurt, but another person dying isn't going to take away your chance. Looks like you're next, Brianna. Everyone, we're going to cut off a chunk of our hair. What? No, I love my hair. You must do as the leader does. Everyone, we're going to cut off a chunk of our hair. What? No, I love my hair. You must do as the leader. You must do as the leader does. Wait. Hurry up. Okay. <laughs> I really didn't think you'd actually do it, Brianna. They're changing the leader. No leader. No. Leader, what are we doing now? Okay, everyone, can we make some carry egg water? And then we're gonna have lunch. Everyone, the lunch is eating to me about a rat. Brianna, no, I'm deathly allergic to peanuts. Kayla, you have to do as the leader does or we'll kill you. But if I eat peanut butter, I'll die. You only got one. Hey, I'm going skydiving later. Want to come? Sure. Hey, Brianna, are you coming? I can't. She only has one life. She can't take any risks. I used one of my lives yesterday. It was so crazy. I jumped from a 10-story building. Wow. Hey, Brianna, how did you use your life? To me in the middle, alone so, I was thinking of going bungee jumping later. Who's coming? I am. But Brianna, you only have one life. I know, but I'm glad you have one life. Hey guys, I was thinking maybe we jump with the world. See, I can't hide you first. So you killed her. She only had one life. I can't 
can't believe you killed her. I didn't know. Her lies are right on her head. I wish I had a hundred lives. I'd have so much fun. Hey, Brianna, you want to come jump up buildings with us later? Come on, you have so many lives, you should use them. She has so many lives, but she doesn't even use them. That's so boring. If I had that many lives, I would not be able to. Do you want to come drowning with us? Are we sure? It's going to be so much fun. Come quick, you're in a terrible accident. This is in critical condition. She's not going to make it. She'll need at least 99 lives to survive. But honey, you only have one life left. Yes, Lucy, I feel so much better. Uh, where's your life though? You have to cut out for one life, but people will see you as a target. Yes, they see people with one life. Hey man, we should wipe that makeup right from her forehead and see how many lives she truly has. Good idea. It's against the law to cover up your lives anyways, and we don't want any one-lifers hanging around here. Whoa, Brianna, are you okay? Yeah, it's just, it's just really hot in here. Brianna, you only have one life left? I knew it. The leader for today. Everyone, they're choosing the leader for today. I hope it's me. <laughs> it's me. That means you all have to follow what I do or you die. Timmy, you'll be a good leader, right? You won't make anyone do anything terrible. <laughs> Begin your exam. Oh, I don't want to write my exam. Everyone, take your exam paper, crumple it up, and throw it in the garbage. But, no, no, I need straight A's. I have to write this exam. Eugene, you have to follow whatever the leader does or you'll die. No, I have to get into Harvard. I have to write... Everyone stop. We're doing 100 jumping jacks. Timmy, why? One. Two. One hundred. Timmy, that was a lot of jumping jacks. Maybe we should all drink water. No, there's no time for that. We're going to rob a bank. They're changing the leader. One hundred. Timmy, that was a lot of jumping jacks. Maybe jumping jacks. Maybe we should all drink water. No, there's no time for that. We're going to rob a bank. They're changing the leader. The new leader. No way. I'm the new leader. Everyone, let's touch the top of the lockers. Kayla, no! You know I'm too short to reach the top of a locker. Exactly, Timmy. You're the reason Eugene's dead. He was the love of my life. Now this is what you get. Kayla, no! Everyone, we can all put our arms down now. Now who am I going to get revenge on next? I know you're hurt, but another person dying isn't going to take away your pain. Looks like you're next, Brianna. Everyone, we're going to cut off a chunk of our hair. What? No, I love my hair. You must do as the leader does. Everyone, we're going to cut off a chunk of our hair. What? No, I love my hair. You must do as the leader. You must do as the leader does. Wait. I'm going to choose a piece from the back. Hurry up. Okay. <laughs> I really didn't think you'd actually do it, Brianna. They're changing the leader. The new leader. No. It's me. So, leader, what are we doing now? Right, I'm the leader. Okay, everyone, we're going to drink some Perrier water, and then we're going to have lunch. 
Everyone, for lunch, we are eating a peanut butter wrap. Brianna, no, I'm deathly allergic to peanuts. Kayla, you have to do as the leader does or they'll kill you. But if I eat peanut butter, I'll die. Please give me white, please give me white. Red. <laughs> I didn't even know that was an option. I don't know if red's my color. What are you wearing? My assigned color. Put on this white shirt immediately. Okay, jeez. No one can know you've been assigned red. As far as anyone knows, your color's white. Got it? What? Okay. OMG, Bestie, you also got assigned white? Yes, we're twins. Oh no, a group of reds is coming. We have to go immediately. Wait, why? Just go. Don't make eye contact. Uh, okay. I don't understand what's so bad about red. Everyone come in line for your color check. Make sure you have on your proper color. We'll know if you're lying. I, I have to go. Wait, we have color check. I'm on my period. You are not going anywhere. Why do you have on white? It, it, it's my color. No, it's not. Your color is blue? It's okay, you don't need to be ashamed. It's red. Oh no, I need to go. You are going to a place where all the other liars go. No. Where all the other liars go. No. Get in there with all your other liar friends. So you guys all got assigned red too, huh? I'm Maria. Jake. Does anyone actually know what red means? It means we're a danger to society. My best friend got assigned white. She's terrified of me. I don't understand why she knows me. Reds are known to go after those assigned white. Their pure-hearted kindness makes them an easy target. I'm so tired. Are they going to give us anything to drink or eat? You may all come out now. If you ever lie about your color again, you will be eliminated from society. All right, red team. Let's go. I'm not going to go. I need to find my bestie. Wait. I really don't think that's a good idea. You don't know her like I do. Bestie, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Oh no, stay away from me. Where are you going? Why are you running? Stop running from me. Get away from me, you psycho red. I'm not red. I'm not red. I'm your best friend. You don't trust me? Somebody help me. This crazy red is after me. So, did you find her? Yeah, I did. Looks like it went really well. <laughs> hey. The other Reds and I are going to go vandalize some stuff. You want to come? Honestly, I'd love to. <laughs> I've never had this much fun in my entire life. Being a Red isn't so bad after all, is it? No, it really isn't. Oh no. What was that? It's the police! Run! That was insane. I have never run from the cops before. Being a Red, it's something that will happen often. I... I meant to ask you, why did you originally lie about being red? You seem so proud of it. I knew my parents would disown me if they found out, so I pretended. But now the secret's out. I can never go back. It's okay. You'll always have us. You'll always have us. Alright friends, what is the plan next? Look over there. A bunch of people assigned white. Let's get them. This is gonna be so much fun. Let's go. Brianna, are you coming? What? No! Stop! Leave them alone! I can't believe you guys did that. You attacked them. It's our nature. It's what we do. We're reds. It's wrong. You're one of us now, okay? You need to start acting like it. I'm nothing like you. I'll never be like any of you. Where's your red? From here on out, I have no assigned color. Put on red. They're going to send you to jail. Or worse, execute you. No. I any of these assigned colors. Therefore, I have no color. Hello, Brianna. I'm going to need you to come with me. It's the president! Hey, leave her alone. Calm down there, fella. I would just like to speak with her. Jake, it's fine. I'll go with her. Have some tea. I thought that we may have an issue with you. I thought that we may have an issue with you. You see, you're the only person to show strong attributes of all three colors. We chose red because we thought it would best suit you, since you are going to be quite the danger to us. How are you enjoying your tea so far? Why do I feel so dizzy? Yeah, we're going to need you to sleep for a little while. What? Where am I? Good morning, Brianna. I'd like to make a deal with you. You have two options. Either I banish you from society for all eternity. No. Or we change your assigned color to white. You can do that? Yes, but you must always fit the mold. Always kind, never dangerous. Failure to do so, you will be banished. No second chances. Hey! Leave her alone, jerk! Jake? Maria? 
Look over there. It's a distraction. Run! Do you really want to live this way? A social reject? An embarrassment to your family? Brianna, don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. We'll tell everyone that we made a mistake. That you were always meant to be assigned white. Brianna, no! I'm sorry. It's the only option. I have to go with him. I knew it. You were always meant to be assigned white. What was it like, hanging out with those horrifying reds? They're literally insane! Don't talk that way about my friends! You can't be friends with them. They're assigned red. It's way too dangerous. Well, I am, and they're my friends. My real friends. I need to find them. What are you doing here, traitor? Would you guys please just let me explain myself? We're listening. I was only given two options. Either I'm banished from society for all eternity, or I change my assigned color to white. You still could have came with us. We would have protected you. You're meant to be red, not white. That's the thing. I don't fit in with any of the colors. There's no color I'm meant to be. What? That's impossible. But... Impossible. But... I have an idea. She's assigned white and she's sitting with reds? Has she lost her mind? Psst. Bessie, what are you doing over there? Stop! What are you doing? I'm drawing an ice cream. No! You can never draw on yourself. Anything you draw on yourself will permanently be on your soulmate. Forever! Brianna, what are you doing? Relax, I'm just drawing a heart on my face so it'll be easier to find my soulmate. Okay, but I don't think your soulmate is going to be very happy with you putting a permanent heart on his face. He'll thank me later. You ready to go to class? Brianna, look at your face! Oh, he is not going to get away with this. Revenge isn't the answer. What did you do? A permanent mustache. Let's see how he likes that. I don't think my soulmate's very happy with me right now. Wait a minute. He wrote an address. I don't think my soulmate's very happy with me right now. Wait a minute. He wrote an address. He must want you meet him there. Are you going to go? Of course. I Are you going to go? Of course I am. I got to go home and get ready. What are you doing? Covering up the 69. It's so embarrassing. That was weird. Ah! It came back. You can't cover up any of the drawings your soulmate gave you. It will always reappear. You know, they really need to make a handbook for all these rules. This is the address. No way. You actually came. Hi. You have the heart on your face. And you have the 69 I drew. Yeah, thanks for that. I'm Brianna. Nice to meet you. I'm Jake. Look, I shouldn't have brought you here. You need to leave. Immediately. What? Just the bread? That'll be a hundred words. Please, I'm so hungry. No words, no food. That's the rule. I'll buy it for her. You don't have many words, do you? Here. It's infinity words. You'll never have to go hungry again. Buy this for me, and this one for me. Hey, come on, you have endless words, and we're meeting the prince today. Don't be so selfish. It's the least you can do after we let you into our family. That'll be 5,000 words. I was thinking lobster for dinner. Oh, and steak. You guys are just using me. The prince is coming soon. How do I look? Oh no, my words are getting low. Come on, I need a refill. What's taking so long? You literally have infinity words. Did I just hear you have infinity words? Do you know what this means? You're the long-lost princess. There's no way a loser like her is the princess. Yeah, and before she never even... Silence. If she has infinity words, that means she is the princess. Infinity words, that means she is the princess. Come with me, love. We'll have a crowning ceremony tonight. Here you'll have tons of ravishing dresses to choose from. Wow, you look just like a princess in your new dress. Where's the prince? You and the prince may not see each other until the crowning ceremony is over. I now crown you- Wait. I can't accept the crown. Why not? Because I'm not- Timmy! Let's play freeze dance, okay? Freeze! Wait, am I supposed to freeze now? Unfreeze! No, Brianna, you killed Timmy! You're not supposed to play freeze dance. It's for population control. It kills people. I didn't know. 
Hey, Kevin. I made you muffins. Thanks, Brianna. Hey, stay away from Kevin. He's mine. Well, I don't see your name on him. Let's play free stance and settle this once and for all. Whoever wins gets Kevin. Deal. I didn't agree to this. Freeze. Oh, oh, leg grip, leg grip. No, Kevin, baby, I'm coming to save you. Unfreeze. And what, and what, and what, and what, and Freeze. Oh, oh, leg grip, leg grip, leg grip. No, Kevin, baby, I'm coming to save you. Unfreeze. Oh, no, Brianna, were you playing three cents? Because of you, Brittany and Kevin are dead. She killed Brittany and Kevin? She's sick. No, no, it's not like that, I promise. Hey, leave her alone. Brianna, come with me. Hey, thanks for getting me out of there. I really appreciate it. It was nothing. Do you remember Timmy? Timmy? Freeze. Wait, am I supposed to freeze now? Yeah, I do remember him. He died playing freeze dance back when I was six. He was my brother. It's time that I finally avenge his death. I challenge you to a good morning. I made you lunch. Thank you, mother. Have a good day at school. Thank you. Hello, best friend. Hello. Watch out for the... Ow! Table. No, no, please don't do this. I just hit my arm. I'm so sorry. Where is Emily? You always walk together. She is gone. Hey, I, uh, I heard what happened to Emily. I really hope you're doing okay. Be careful. You're showing emotion. Actually, I figured out how to show emotion without getting caught. I can show you how to do it if you want. Yes. How do you show emotion without getting caught? The trick is... To stop caring. You wasted my time. Try it out and see for yourself. For yourself. <laughs> Mother, don't cry. You'll get heat. Your little sister Ella's gone. She threw a tantrum at school and now she's gone forever. Mother, I... Love. Penny, what you said worked. I stopped caring after everyone in my life was gone. I knew you'd come around. We need to put an end to this wall. I'm so cold. Here, let me check your temperature. So, what is it? Uh, 100 degrees, just like your father and I. That's perfect, because today we're getting put in our demon categories based on our body temperature. Wait, don't go yet! All right, everyone, fall in line. It's time to check your temperatures. Those with temperatures under 1,000 degrees are considered weak. Those over 1,000 are considered strong. Next in line, please. 33.6. You're not a demon. If I'm not a demon, then what am I? If you really are a demon, then you can burn this piece of paper. Even the weakest of demons can do it. I can't do it. What is she? I know what you are. Temperature of 33 degrees can only mean one thing. You're a human. That's not possible. I've been a demon my whole life. Both my parents are demons. Why are my hands freezing? It's in my hands. Is that snow? Snow? Even worse than I thought. You're an angel. Everyone, set her on angel. Everyone, set her on fire. No, no, no. no. Mom, I'm so cold. It's freezing in here. Quick, give me the thermometer. Just as I thought. It's at zero. Why is my hair turning white? Mom, I'm scared. Your transformation is almost complete. I have something to tell you. Both your dad and I are demons. But your biological father? Oh, you're so silly putting stickers on your face. <laughs> no, you killed your big sister. You can't ever laugh. It kills people. Look what you've done. Sissy. Here, before coming into the classroom, you must put this tape over your mouth. Why? It's a precaution issued by the school board, as kids are the highest risk for laughter. I don't want to wear the tape anymore. You must wear it. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
We're just kids. You didn't do it on purpose. Listen, kid. I saved your life. You could have died. You should be thanking me. Mommy, you forgot to pick me up from school. Good evening. Police officer. There was an incident of laughing at your mother's work. She didn't make it. Stop <laughs> laughing. Stop laughing. <laughs> What's going on here? You killed <laughs> Officer Brad. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. We're gonna need backup. <laughs> Did you hear? She killed three police officers when she was seven. You know I can hear you, right? I was just a kid. I was traumatized from my mom just passing away. I couldn't control it. You're a murderer. A psycho. I can't listen to this any longer. Hey, are you okay? I can't believe what they're saying about you. I'm used to it. Want to hang out after school? There's somewhere I want to show you. We're almost there. Where are you taking me? We're here. In the middle of nowhere? You know those three police officers you killed? One of them was my dad. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. I'm not doing it. I'm not happy. <laughs> if you hear, if you're happy and you know it, you must do whatever she says happily. If you don't do what she says with a smile, you'll die. That's scary. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. It's 7 a.m., bro. It's too early for this. Uh-oh. Chad wasn't happy and you know it. <laughs> Chad. Brittany, are you okay? I know Chad was your boyfriend. If you're happy and you know it, cut your hair. I love cutting my hair. So happy. So happy. <laughs> no, my beautiful hair. Aw, Brittany wasn't happy and you know it. If you're happy and you know it, push someone down the stairs. If you're happy and you know it, push someone down the stairs. Hello, Brianna. Principal Steve. Hello, Brianna. Principal Stevens. You can go down the stairs first. How kind of you. Principal Stevens? Principal Stevens? I think I killed him. If you're happy and you know it, say hooray. Hooray! Are you okay? You look worried. My boyfriend is not going to be happy with me. I killed his dad. Principal Stevens? How could you? You killed my dad? Babe, wait. Please just listen to me. I didn't have a choice. I got happy and you know it to push someone down the stairs. I didn't know he'd die. Why would you choose my dad? If you're happy and you know it, break up with your boyfriend. Babe, we have to break up. You just got a happy and you know it, didn't you? That's funny. I just got one to kill you. Jake, you wouldn't actually do it, right? You wouldn't kill me. I would. Happily. Bree Bree, where are you? If you're happy and you know if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. <sighs> Found you. This is for my dad. Jake? Uh-oh, Jake took too long to complete his happy and you know it. <gasps> Jake, are you still alive? <clears throat> Not for much longer. I'm so cold. Here, take this sweater. You gave it to me. You should have it back anyways. I really did love you, Jake. I... I love you. If you're happy and you know it, kill your teacher with this apple. Apple? Look in your pocket. If you're happy and you know it, kill your teacher with this apple. Apple? Look in your pocket. Miss Applewood, I got you an apple because you're my favorite teacher. Are you hungry? Thank you. You can just leave it on the desk, Brianna. You can just leave it on the desk, Brianna. Miss Applewood, you've been working really hard. You should really take a bite. Okay, I will. I am a little hungry. It's actually pretty... <gasps> Where's Miss Applewood? Class started 10 minutes ago. If she's not here in 15 minutes, legally we can leave. If you're happy and you know it, throw your pen at Eugene. Ow! Why would you- Is it just me, or are we getting a lot more happy and you know it's recently? I'm not. I've only gotten one today. Brianna, you know if you're getting a lot of happy and you know it's, it means they're trying to eliminate you, right? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, put your hands in the air. Principal Stevens, you're alive? If you're happy and you know it, put your hands in the air. Principal Stevens. 
You're alive? Yes, I'm alive, and I know what you did. I saw it all in the security footage. My boy's gone because of you. Time to get my revenge. Look. Time to get my revenge. Look, a woman in a bikini! Where? If you're happy and you know it stomps your feet. You lied to me. There wasn't a woman in a bikini. Revenge is gonna be sweet. Honey, are you okay? Come with me. Mom, what are you doing here? Mom, please take me home. I'm scared. The happy and you know it game is trying to eliminate me. <laughs> yes, I know. Surprisingly, you're a lot harder to eliminate than I expected, sweetie. You help run happy and you know it. If you're happy and you know it, give your mom a hug. I thought you said you... Mommy, are we almost at the ice cream shop? <laughs> Hurry, cover your mouth and nose. Come on, sweetie, we have to get out of here now. Huh? Mommy, why did you tell me to get out of there? I thought we were getting ice cream. If you hear laughing, you must cover your nose and mouth with the cloth I gave you. This cloth was created to fight against the laughing disease. Laughing is highly contagious and incurable. If you catch it, you'll die. Mommy, why didn't you wake me up for school? <laughs> Mommy? <laughs> Help! Help someone! Sweetie, what's going on? Why are you outside? Mommy's inside. She has the laughing disease. Don't worry, sweetie. I'll take care of Mommy. Good morning, Dad. I'm off to school now. <laughs> Dad? <laughs> Good morning, Dad. I'm off to school now. <laughs> Dad? <laughs> How's my best friend today? How's my best friend today? My dad has a laughing disease. That means both my parents are gone. I can't go home tonight. Do you think I can stay at your place? I have to go. Where are you going? Your dad has the laughing disease. You could have caught it. I can't risk it. Stay away. Class, does anyone know the answer to? <laughs> Everyone out! Students, stay out here. I'll take care of Miss Applewood. <laughs> that was so scary. Are you doing okay, Bree? I thought you didn't want me near you. In case I'm contagious. I know what I said. I was just worried. <laughs> Babe, is everything okay? Jake, it, it's my best friend, Sophie. She has the laughing disease. We have to get rid of her. <laughs> You're laughing. No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Best friend, Sophie. She has the laughing disease. We have to get rid of her. <laughs> You're laughing. No, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. No, I'm fine, I'm fine. Please, please, I don't have it. I don't have the laughing disease. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm laughing. Goodbye, world. <laughs> Brina, stop. Stop laughing if you want to live. Stop what? Were you laughing? No, no. I was just practicing in case I did catch the laughing disease. The laughing disease is incurable. If you catch it, you're doomed. Now get to class. <laughs> Stop. Stop laughing. I knew it. I knew you had the laughing disease. Say bye-bye, Brianna. No, no, I'm not infected, I'm telling you. Say bye-bye, Brianna. No, no, I'm not infected, I'm telling you. Look at my face. I'm not laughing. No, I saw you. You were laughing. You must have been seeing things. <laughs> things. <laughs> tell me. Tell me the cure for the laughing disease. <laughs> I, I don't know. Let go of me. Come with us, Brianna. Where am I? Who are you? What do you want from me? We need to know how you got cured from the laughing disease. What's the secret? Look, I don't know how I cured the disease. If I knew, I'd tell you. Let me see your arm. What are you doing? We're injecting you with the laughing disease so we can know your secret. No! <laughs> Everyone, put your mask on so you don't catch the laughing disease. She's laughing too much. We have to get rid of her or else we'll catch the laughing disease. Have you guys ever thought that maybe the laughing disease isn't deadly? So, how was the kiss? It was alright. Thanks, Professor. Only two more to go, and then I can finally meet my soulmate. Good luck. Brianna, who's next on your list? Eugene. That'll be easy. He's such a nerd. Hey, Eugene. Basically in quantum physics. What do you want? Want a kiss? I don't know. I'm kind of out of your league. <laughs> 
Eugene, just give me a chance. Please, please. I guess. Just don't tell anyone. I don't want anyone finding out about this. Trust me. Neither do I. Thanks, Eugene. You're so mid. <laughs> Only one more to go. Kissing a thousand people is a lot of work. I only had to kiss ten. What? I have to kiss Jason. So? He's my best friend. I'll make things weird. Only one more to go. Kissing a thousand people is a lot of work. I only had to kiss ten. What? I have to kiss Jason. So? He's my best friend. It'll make things weird. Jason. Buddy. Bud. <laughs> Why are you acting weird? You're the last person on my kiss list, and then I can meet my soulmate, so... No, Brianna, I can't kiss you. We're best friends. It'll make things weird. Are you serious right now? Jason, how about you kiss me on the cheek? That way, things won't be weird. I guess that's fine. It didn't work. It has to be on the lips. See ya! Wait! Jason, you're being a bad friend. A real friend would help me find my soulmate. I promise I won't tell anyone about this. Brianna, the real reason I don't want to kiss you is because I don't want you to find your soulmate. Why not? Because I'm in love with you. Mommy, I promise one day I'm going to be famous. Brianna, I told you not to make any promises. Now you'll have a permanent mark until you fulfill your promise. Does anyone have a hair tie I can borrow? Yeah, here. Just promise me you'll give it back. Yes, of course. I promise. Sup, babe. Hey. I got you flowers. Wow, they're beautiful. Thank you. I love you so much. Promise me one day we'll get married. I promise. What university are you applying to? Harvard, of course. Um, you don't know? Know what? You can't get into Harvard with any unfulfilled promises. They're very prestigious. I gotta go. I gotta get rid of all these marks. Is that even possible? I promise you, it is. Use your hair tie back. Seriously, you're giving it back now? I don't even want it anymore. Well, you need to take it. I need to fulfill all my promises and get into Harvard, so... No, I don't want it. Take it! Okay, jeez. Thank you. You're so much better than my girlfriend. Better than my girlfriend. Hey! Babe, it's not what it looks like. I was, uh, giving her CPR. Come on. We're going to get married right now. And then, we're going to get a divorce. Wait, but I don't want to. Let's go! The only marks I have left is to fulfill all my promises and become famous. How am I going to become famous? Hmm, let's brainstorm some ideas. <gasps> I know. I'm going to post thirst traps on TikTok. Brianna, no! How'd the video do? Did it get any views? Yeah, a lot of views. Then why don't you look happy? Everyone's laughing at me. <laughs> we saw your TikTok video. You thought you looked so hot. <laughs> Whatever, at least I'm famous. Oh yeah, you're famous all right. <laughs> Well, I guess I'm famous. Not the way I want it to be, but hey, at least my promises are fulfilled. Um, Brianna, you still have one mark left. Look. No. No, no, no. My last promise was to fulfill all last promise was to fulfill all of my promises, and I did! I think that's sort of like a lifelong promise. So I can't get into my dreams. You could always try Yale. Brianna, you can't cover up your mark. They'll find out. How would they find out? I have to get into Harvard. It's my dream. Hi, I'm here to interview for Harvard. We've been expecting you. Come this way. Welcome to the Harvard interview. Now, before we get started, we're going to have to ask you to remove your foundation. What? Why? We received a tip from someone that you have an unfulfilled promise. I'm sorry, but this is just protocol. All right, so I was lying. I have an unfulfilled promise. But I meet every other requirement and then some. The interview's over. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. How'd the interview go? They found out. They said they received a tip from someone. But how is that possible? No one else but us knew. Hey, Mom. The interview's over. Can you come pick me up, please? Thank you so much for the heads up on Brianna. So much for the heads up on Brianna. Yeah, of course. I wouldn't want someone getting to Harvard dishonestly.